Hey everyone, welcome to my first vlog. I know I have other vlogs on my channel, but I would like this to be the first one in a series of future vlogs, which will be similar in a sense that I sit here and talk about my thoughts. Um, I just really felt like doing this. I'm supposed to be in bed right now. Um, but I did something very exciting today for the first time. I had a collaboration with a fellow YouTuber. I will not say anything about what that video is about and who that person is because it's his project and um, yeah, I'm not going to reveal anything. But I would like to talk about what I learned from the experience today. I've been wanting to do collaboration with other YouTubers for the longest time. I think it's been about like two or three years now. <laughs> but I never had the guts to do it before because I was overthinking so many things and I wanted to get things right. And when he reached out to me yesterday, I just immediately said yes because I knew I could learn a lot of things and, and I did. So today's vlog is about me reflecting on the things that I learned from this amazing YouTuber. So he invited me to communicate on Zoom but I did not have the software and I had to view it via my browser and it wasn't really working because I was a noob. I usually use Skype and he very kindly suggested that we move to Skype even though he was very unfamiliar with it. So that's one thing, he's very flexible, that's what I learned. So we moved to Skype. The first thing that he did was to set up the microphone because the first rule about making a video, it's fine if your video is crappy, but it's not fine if your audio is crappy. People can sit here and watch a blurry video, but if the audio is horrendous, then you just cannot sit through something that you cannot hear well. What I learned was he wasn't shy about letting people know that this audio is not good enough or this is not going to work, what other alternatives you have. We kept trying. I think it took us like over half an hour just to get the audio right and I was the problematic one because this wasn't working and this wasn't working and my webcam microphone wasn't working everything was so noisy my aircon my, my fan I just turned off everything and it was still so noisy so in the end we just he suggested that I do it from my phone instead and I ended up using my default Samsung hands-free earphone that has a, a microphone built in and that solved the problem because he said like it's fine if the video is not great as long as the audio is okay. I was very impressed by how he just went ahead and set his expectations. He sort of just came out and said, I need the audio to be like this because if not the editing is going to be a nightmare for me. And I completely agree because I edit my own videos and when the audio is bad, I just, you know, I just want to scream. I don't know if it's like a Malay thing or if it's like a female thing or maybe it's a female Malay thing, but when I work in a group with other people, my instinct is to get along and to go along, especially if the project belongs to someone. Uh, the last thing I want is to overstep my boundaries or make people feel uncomfortable or unwelcome. So I'm always trying to go along with what people want, especially if they feel strongly about it. But I also learned that when you want to get something done and if you own the project, then then it's more important to set your expectations straight like what he did so that's the second thing that i learned first flexibility second just let people know what you expect especially if it's reasonable people will understand and uh, i'm i'm glad he did that because if not we would have worked so hard for hours and not get a good result and that would have been a shame the third thing is while we were working on that collaboration, everybody was giving their input, but whenever there was something that didn't really sit right with him, I mean, it's not necessarily wrong. It's just like, I want this to be better. I want this to sound better. I want this to be like that or like this. I like that he wasn't afraid to say what he wanted. I know this sounds very similar to point number two, but yeah, it just makes work so easy when people just say what they want and what they need. And then at the end of the day, when you've tried your best, you can walk away knowing that you've done your best, you've put in every effort. I know this might sound like a basic thing to many people. It's not like I've never worked in a group before. In fact, I quite like group projects when I was in school and in university and even at work. You know, there's a lot of working with other people and I can do that quite well. But I suppose maybe because it's been a long time, so I've forgotten what it's like. 
and i notice as i get older i try to get along better with people when i was younger i was very aggressive and very non-compromising so as i get older i tend to want to just get along and be nice and maybe sometimes i go too much on the get along side that i forget that sometimes just telling people exactly what you want and what you need is good not just for you but for other people because there are no confusion so yeah that's it i'm super happy about that collaboration effort today even if nothing comes out of it even if he suddenly says that uh no it's not gonna happen uh because of whatever reason i'd be i'd be okay with it because it's his project and it's not like i didn't get anything out of it i i remember what it's like to work with people and i get reminded that it's okay to tell people what you want and it makes things more interesting and now suddenly i want to do more collaborations i'm already thinking of several youtubers i might contact and <laughs> i don't know about what yet but it's a general knowledge that two heads are better than one more heads are always better than less heads but actually getting there and doing it is something completely different there are people who when they see something that is difficult to do they go out and find people to do it with them and these people are leaders i i tend to be the kind of person who finds it very hard to delegate i delegate by force I meaning people have to force me to delegate which is which is not good because i i tend to do many things myself just like you know my video i i edit everything myself i try to learn and do everything myself but things are slow that way as i get older i realize what a what a powerful thing it is to have the ability to see people and see what it is they're good at and what they can do for you and what you can do for them these are all people skills <laughs> definitely something i can have more of so thank you so much for asking me to collaborate with you i'm so glad you thought of me i have no regrets about today i'm very very happy it's 26 minutes past midnight and i'm still so excited just thinking about what i did today <laughs> um you have inspired me and i want to do more things in the future yeah it's fun i cannot wait for your video to come out and when it does i'll probably make another vlog and let everyone know about it i've always wanted to do a vlog something like this but i didn't really know what to talk about and just now i was just sitting and thinking about what happened today and i thought you know why not just do it i mean it's making me smile the whole day so well i don't know if anyone's even going to care about what i'm seeing here um well, if you watch this from start to finish, let me know if you want to hear my thoughts about anything else. Or if you don't, I'll just keep posting more vlogs in the future anyway. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Gotta start somewhere, right? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, <laughs> how do I end this? Good night. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Okay. Bye.